Right, let's take you back to Los Angeles and the student demonstrations that have spilled over into violence on the campus there at UCLA. Uh, we can show you these pictures from uh, the last hour or so and you can see the violence, people with sticks. We saw objects being thrown, uh, wooden pallets being thrown. There's been a camp there of pro-Palestinian uh, demonstrators uh, making their voices heard, angry about what's happening in Gaza. There's also a pro-Israeli uh, uh, group of protesters too and there has been ongoing demonstrations and protests on the site but they did escalate into violence at about 11 o'clock 11 p.m local time and then we heard from the mayor that uh, the police were then called in uh, let's speak now to uh, dylan winwood uh, features and student life editor thank you very much for coming on the program thank you for having me uh, what do you make of the pictures that we've just been seeing yeah, so we have reporters on the site at the moment um, from 10.50 local time this evening. Counter-protesters showed up as they have been doing for the last couple of days uh, to disrupt the encampment. Uh, we know as well that they fired off fireworks towards the encampment and that there's been tear gas used on site. One of our reporters at the student newspaper at the Daily Bruin um, got tear gas this evening as well. Um, so that's what's currently going on there. Um, we know that campus has requested a police presence uh, from across the city to come in uh, and uh, from the latest I've just heard that they've arrived several hours later. Interesting. And let's go back to the beginning there. We, we, we've seen the big um, patch of land with lots of tents on. Um, are we right in this understanding that's the pro-Palestinian uh, group of students? Talk us, how, how long have they been there and what have they been doing up until before this evening? Yeah, so the encampment is organised by Students for Justice in Palestine, a UCLA student group. They've been there since Thursday morning. Uh, they have a number of demands, but the chief among them is to have the university divest from companies associated with the Israeli military. Um, they've largely been uh, protesting peacefully. Uh, they've held programming, they've had speeches and chants, um, but pretty much from the first evening they were there, uh, overnight, they've been harassed by increasingly large groups of counter-protesters. Uh, we're aware that it's over 100 this evening, um, some of whom uh, have just been keeping them awake, shouting, playing music. And in recent evenings, it's also become increasingly violent. And yeah, that brings us up to about uh, kind of 10, 11 o'clock uh, this evening. Clearly, it's very, very recent. But what do we understand about what has happened, what changed uh, in the mood and the atmosphere there? Yeah, so earlier on today, uh, this afternoon actually, uh, a US congressional committee summoned UCLA university leaders to talk about anti-Semitism in a hearing next month. In response, UCLA leaders uh, declared the encampment as an unlawful assembly. They have said that students who are participating in it could face academic sanctions at the university. They stopped short of saying that they were going to arrest students on campus, uh, but they asked students to leave the encampment. Um, this evening, uh, at about 10 or 11 o'clock, we then saw a large number of counter-protesters turn up, um, as they have done uh, in recent evenings. We know yesterday evening there was also an altercation, but it was nothing like we've seen on the scale tonight. Um, we know that they tried to breach the encampment perimeter, as they have been doing for the last couple of evenings, um, and have thus far been repelled. Uh, but we know also that they were throwing objects, uh, they were throwing fireworks, they threw a scooter, um, water bottles uh, and tear gas towards the encampment as well. And that brings us up to, yeah, what, what we've been seeing in the nighttime pictures uh, feed from about kind of 1am ish uh, for about half an hour. There were periods where there were direct confrontations and then there would be a pause as people would uh, step back. Is it? Is it talk us through the geography? This line um, of tents is this effectively the edge of the pro-Palestinian camp where they've been for a while, and that's the focus point of the counter demonstrators. Is that right? Yeah. So what what you're probably looking at there is the central quad of the UCLA campus, and on one half of it really is the pro-Palestine encampment. Um, there was a barrier set up in between with a buffer zone. Uh, there are about 30 hired professional security guards hired by the university to separate protesters from counter-protesters. We know that this evening is the first time that they actually withdrew away 
um, from uh, the encampment site. We believe that's because they didn't feel they could safely hold it, um, allowing the two sides to clash directly. But previously, in between, there had been a buffer zone. Those barriers have since been knocked over by the counter-protesters this evening.